y'all so this is my third time i tried taping this two times before and i forgot to put the memory card in the one of my camera caps shutting off so anyway coming in looking very crazy but i'm gonna do my hair and we'll see if this little experiment gets a yay or a nay so what am i gonna do i'm gonna use cassia bubble vata powder that i got from hennesuk see i'll show you everything crap the way the lighting is well if you ever if you ever got a green tea frat or seen green matcha powder that they make green tea with this is what it looks like this is what it smells like to me actually so this is one pack they come in these little foil things and this is what it's like and i bought four of them because they had a sale a 25 percent sale and here's what made me raise my eyebrow they were offering a free shampoo bar and there wasn't anything so i emailed her asking it and she said she would send it to me if i wanted like wanted to pay 4.95 for shipping for 275 for a shampoo peak a shampoo bar said but it cost 275 that was supposed to be free with the order but you had to actually click it on the website which i didn't see that in the email and i didn't thought it'd be automatically included in the package but anyway, I emailed her next door and she said I would have to pay $4.95. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's my feeling on that. So there's a lot of people I won't be buying stuff from anymore. Anyway, so this is it. You can sort of see it now. I have some hot water. I have armor powder that is dusty because it was open because I used it with other stuff and it sort of spilled. And I have some Mono de Tahiti. It smells almost like Anita Krantz. Almost. Still good. Cheaper. I still think I love Anita Krantz the best. So anyway. Cassia is for healthy shiny hair. If you want to have make your hair more conditioned without the color of henna, you can use this. So what you're supposed to do is Use enough powder for your hair, add warm or hot water, mix it up to a pancake-like batter consistency, let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes, and then put on clean or damp hair. Sometimes we add more water. Sometimes we may have to add more powder. And they say that you, you know, on Khadija's website, on her blog, she says that you don't, you can use plastic or metal. You don't have to use plastic. Some people need to do the research. Whoever says, oh my God, it's going to be at. Yeah, everything is, no. It's not going to all be at. It's a damn plant. When they have metallic salts and certain things, that's when it reacts with the metal. for this so um I guess I can come back and tell you I look at you I could probably come back and tell you how many packs I needed for my hair looking at this I might need I might need another pack probably one more and that'd be enough for my hair but I'm also gonna add a little amla powder and some of my minor day to heat it to make it smooth and then I'm going to shampoo my hair because I have this stuff in silicone. So I want all of this goodness to get in my hair. But you have to stir this really well. So let me put the camera down and I'll be back. <laughs> 